You had a starring role in your first act, Childhood, then took on a more of a supporting role in your second act, Marriage and Family. Now you can take center stage again in your act three, Retirement. But in order to make this act a hit, you need some fellow cast members. Dr. Shirley Ratner is here with some ideas on auditioning people and places so you can be so, so socially successful. <laughs> Dr. Ratner is a clinical psychologist with Metro Health. Welcome again. Thank you for having me. So why is social interaction so important as we age? Well, it's very important because research shows that it actually has health benefits. Social connection can decrease depression, it can delay onset of dementia, and it can certainly um, keep us cognitively um, in tune, which is very, very important. The challenge is keeping social in that third act. First act, childhood was easy. We had friends in school. Second act, when we were raising kids and working, we had friends through work and through our children's other parents. Mm -hmm. um, in the third act, we're more at risk because when we retire, we go through a grieving process. Uh, we're going into this next stage of our life and it's very easy to get depressed and to isolate ourselves. Mm. So you talk about social active life or active social life. What does that really mean? Right, so it doesn't mean that you are partying all the time. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean be, social activity is, is connecting socially to the greater world. So that could be um, going to dinner and a movie with friends. It could also mean going to a class. Um, joining a book group, um, a golf league, mm -hmm. um, being connected. Okay, so you have some top ways to help become engaged socially. The first one is nurturing your social network. Right, exactly. So to nurture your social network, you need to put in some effort. And today with modern technology, that's easy to do. You can use Facebook, you can use emailing among others, and in fact, Facebook is claiming that the population of 65 year olds and over are the ones who are using it the most at this time. Oh. It's a great way to connect. It's also a great way to connect with people who you haven't talked to in a long time, you haven't talked to since childhood. And it's nice to connect with people who knew you when you were becoming who you are. <laughs> the next one I thought it was a surprise, go back to work. Right, right, I know, you just retired, right. so why go back? Well, actually, when we retire from our work, we lose a sense of our identity. And going back for some part-time work can reclaim a little bit of that. Um, and you can do a little bit of part-time work and it doesn't necessarily affect your retirement benefits, but you wanna find out mm -hmm. how. But it's a great way to reconnect to the community. Okay, and third is volunteer. That's right. So again, volunteering is a, a way to connect by helping and giving of yourself. And the key is to find something that is of interest to you. One of the great places to go is United Way. Mm -hmm. got, dial 211 or go on their website and see if you can find something that speaks to you. Okay, sounds like that's a good place to go for a lot of different things. The right. last tip you have is offer to help your family out. Absolutely, guys, listen. You wanna spend more time with your children and grandchildren, and they are super busy, right? Offer to babysit. Offer to drive carpool to a dance class or to school. It's a great way to take off some of the burden off of your children and spend some good personal quality time with your grandchildren. As always, great tips. Retirement is a time when you can enjoy yourself, and the best way to do that is to be involved with others. Follow Dr. Ratner's tips and make the most of your act three. My thanks to Dr. Ratner for taking time to socialize with us here today. To learn more, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or log on to www.metrohealth.org.